Now your first warm weather forecast with meteorologist Kevin Doom. It was rather cloudy Saturday today, although the area managed to stay dry. These clouds that we're seeing overhead are tied to a storm system that's bringing some steady rainfall to parts of central, south central Illinois. However, this system should stay to our south. This is the system actually that Candace, Joey, and I have been talking about for several days that could have potentially brought us some rain, maybe even a little bit of snow, but with a strong system of high pressure up to our northeast and some strong winds uh, blowing west to east uh, in the upper levels of our atmosphere, this system is managing to move more eastward rather than northeastward. So all this rain should stay to our south through the rest of the night here. Now looking ahead with our future cast, we will hang on to that cloud cover through the night though and into tomorrow morning as well. Come tomorrow afternoon, the clouds will gradually start to decrease through the rest of the day. By tomorrow evening, we should be seeing some partly cloudy skies overhead, which is stick with us through the night and as we head into Monday as well. Really nothing more to talk about for Monday, just some partly cloudy skies, but we will see an increase in cloud cover later on in the evening because overnight between Monday and Tuesday is our next chance for rain and some snow as as well. This storm system is going to be moving into the Midwest uh, Monday evening. You can see this is Monday at 8 o'clock p.m. You can see all the precipitation associated with the storms in the fashion of some rainfall, but as it begins to move toward the state line and temperatures cool off late Monday evening into the overnight hours, uh, a lot of this uh, precipitation on the northern flank of the system actually transitions into some snowfall. So we'll likely start to see some snowfall before we see some rain, and we could see snow as late as mid-morning or so on Tuesday. However, as we head on into the latter part of the morning, early afternoon at the latest, all the snow will have transitioned into rainfall and that will kick off what will be a very rainy Tuesday, very steady rainfall for much of our Tuesday, even as we head into the overnight hours and into Wednesday morning. Now, most computer models have the state line getting at least an inch, if not a few inches of snow. However, these models do not account for how warm the ground is and also uh, the rain that is going to follow the snow, which will wash away any snow that happens to stick to the ground. Plus, this will be likely a very wet and heavy snow, so we'll likely see more compaction, which means less accumulation overall than what these models are accounting for. So we likely won't see more than an inch, maybe just a little over an inch on the ground at a time, but that is still pushing it. And like I said, any snow that does stick to the ground will be out of here very quickly. Here's a live look over downtown Rockford using a Mercy L SkyTrack, where conditions are seasonably cool and quiet out there. Temperatures did make it in to the lower to middle 40s today, which is exactly where we should be for this time of year. 45 to be exact was the high today in Rockford, but now temperatures are down in the 30s across the area. 38 right now in Rockford, 37 in Rochelle, 38 in Dixon, 33 for those of you out in Freeport. Temperatures will continue to fall to near freezing. Most areas should stay above freezing. A few spots, no doubt, will get below freezing tonight. Mostly cloudy skies to go with us through the rest of the night into tomorrow morning. As I said, latter part of the day, we'll see some gradual clearing in our cloud cover. Temperatures very similar to where we were today, lower to middle 40s. 40s actually expected for pretty much the entirety of this upcoming week, including on Thanksgiving when we're not expecting any rain. Just temperatures in the upper 40s and lots of sunshine.